So let's look at how to calculate the net present value. So there's two possible scenarios. It might be a very simple calculation where they actually give you the net cash flows for every year of the project, like we have here. So this project will run for three years. The initial investment in year zero is one million. And we will earn net cash flows. So net means our cash inflows, less cash outflows. Of 500,000 in year one, 700,000 in year two, and 900,000 in the last year. And then our discount rate, which you'll later see is our weighted average cost of capital. But don't worry about that for now. We will get to that in a separate video. Our discount rate is 10%. So we will have to discount the future cash flows at 10%. Subtract the initial cash flow and get our net present value of all these cash flows. So let's see how we do that on the calculator. So the first step obviously is to clear your memory. So shift clear all. And then we're going to start inputting our four cash flows. It's three years, but remember we've got year zero. So your first input will always be for year zero. That is our initial cash flow at the start of the first year. So we will type in one triple zero triple zero so one million and we will press this button to convert it to a negative remember it's an outflow so you have to be careful the initial cash flow is an outflow and this will show on your screen negative one million and then we'll press this button here cfj that is our cash flow button and that will input negative one million as our first cash flow. It will pop up on your screen also one CF um, to show one cash flow or zero CF. It will show you year zero's cash flows input. Don't press anything else before the next step. So now we move on to the next cash flow. We will first type in 500,000 and then immediately after that again the CFJ button. And now it will pop up one CF. So one cash flow or year one's cash flow has been put in. You have to remember about year zero and you have to remember to make it a negative. And then we'll carry on. So we'll type in 700,000 CFJ, 900,000 CFJ. So now we've put in all our cash flows. It'll quickly pop up on the screen 3 CF or something like that. That's the third year's cash flows has been put in. It'll disappear again. And now... We have to include the discount rate. So we will type in, let's just clean the screen up. We'll type in the discount rate. So the way we do that is just simply one zero. You don't have to say percent. So one zero and then this button, I slash YR. So that's our discount rate. And then immediately after that, you'll press shift and then net present value. There's our button for net present value. And it'll pop up the answer on the screen, which will be 709,241 Rand. That's our net present value. And one step further to get our in internal rate of return is again shift and then IRR next to it. Since we've already got the cash flows in there. Now that's only if they gave us all the cash flows. But most questions will be a long scenario with lots of information in there. They'll say how much will the company earn each year from the machine, what it'll cost, what the depreciation are, what are the wear and tear deductions, etc. And you will have to calculate those cash flows. You will have to calculate these net cash flows instead of it being given. And then we will use this layout. And I will do this in the next video.